Hi, this is Amy from the Alti Store. I just did a video about the Outback Power Radian GS8048 and 4048. So if you haven't seen that video, you might want to see that first, because right now we're going to just talk about the breaker box that is made to go with the Radian. This is the Outback Power's GSLC. Now LC stands for load center, which is just a fancy way of saying breaker box. Um, it has both slots for AC and DC breakers. Now it's very versatile, very flexible, and you can buy it uh, with lots of different configures already. So let me just kind of give you an overview right, right now. You've got um, the, the slots here. We've got a bunch of slots for AC breakers, and then we've got a bunch of slots for panel mount DC breakers. And then over here, we've got these two big panel mount breakers that are for the, um, the inverter, between the inverter and the battery. Then it's even got room for Outback's FlexNet so that you've got the ability to monitor your battery and really do, do very, very accurate um, measurement of current going in and out of the battery bank. So you see it's really got this nice door that you can, um, you can actually switch around to, uh, you can remove it and switch it so that it's a, it's a right or a left swing door depending on what your configuration is set up for. So it uh, gives you a nice uh, bit of versatility there. And then, it, as I said, it's got all these different slots here. But what's really nice is you can just take out four screws off the top and you can remove the cover. So if we also take off the door and we take off the, this front panel, I can really show you a lot of the different capabilities of, of this breaker box. So when I take the, the top off, that exposes these power bus bars. So these are the positive and the negative bus bars that connect your inverter to the breaker box. And so these, these actually go right to the breakers. So it's really easy because all you do is you take, look at that, you take the radian and it's got the terminals right there for your plus and your minus going to the batteries. So, so these bus bars just go right to the positive and they go directly to the 175 amp breakers. Then the output of the breakers you can see there's a positive bus bar there. So all of your positives that are going to the battery are going to be going to that positive bus bar. So ditto with the negative. You can see we've got a nice big negative bus bar here. And if you're using the FlexNet that does your, your monitoring, your DC battery monitor, you can have up to three shunts connected right to the bus bar. And so that's going to measure the current going in from up to two charge controllers and the current coming out th uh, through the inverter. So that's going to give you really, really accurate amp hour count of what's going in and out. So you can accurately, rather than just using a battery voltage, you can also measure the amp hours going in and out of your battery to get a very accurate measurement. Now this is available, this uh, GSLC is available in several different models. Just the, the straight old GSLC, it does not have any of the breakers, so you would buy all of the breakers separately. The GSLC 175-12240, that is for a split phase 12240 volt um, inverter. So basically you say North America and, and other places that use the North American version. It's also available with a dash 230, so it would have the AC breakers so it would have the breakers that are appropriate for a 230 volt inverter. Now it has both the bypass breakers and the little sl uh, the bar that prevents both of the uh, breakers from being on at the same time. What that does is that allows you to bypass completely around the inverter. So if you need to take the inverter offline and you have another AC source, uh, either the grid or a generator, you can make it so that you take your inverter out of the system it's going to get its power from that other AC source and you can do whatever you need to do, then you flip it back and because it has this bar preventing them both from being on at the same time, you're never gonna accidentally back feed into your generator, which would be bad. So um, 
so that's your AC breakers. And so it's got several AC breakers if you do buy the version that, that comes with that. And it also comes with the 175 amp breakers. And um, I mentioned in the other video that the 8,000 watt radian inverter is actually two 4,000 watt inverters. So you've got 175 amp breaker for each half of that. And then they've got the GSLC 175PV-12240. And that also includes the breakers, the DC breakers that you need to mount up to two charge controllers. So it's got a dual GFDI uh, breaker here, and it's got, got uh, breakers for the, the input of the, the charge controller as well. So you're good for your input and your output right here. And you can see there's actually even more slots available. So you can fit up to four uh, charge controllers, uh, the breakers for them. So if you do get the GSLC 175PV-12240, that also comes with the FlexNet DC battery monitor. So that's a really nice way, as, as I was talking about, that, that you can monitor your, your actual battery usage. So I hope this was helpful. If so, give us a like and a share, and be sure to subscribe to our Altistore channel. And don't forget to go to our website at altistore.com, where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.